Hello everybody, this is Chef Hugo Miranda with BBLA. We're right here at Uptown Whittier at the Nixon Chop House and Whiskey. Stay tuned and watch Executive Chef Katsuya and owner to make a great, beautiful dishes. Stay tuned. This is Chef Hugo Miranda with BBLA, and we're right here with Chef Katsuji. Why are you right? Yeah. And uh, we're right here at the Nixon Chop House and Whiskey, and uh, we're getting a little introduction in uh, Uptown Whittier of Chef's uh, creation and uh, why did he pick this location and the name and uh, his concept. All right. Well, it's quite simple. It's a steakhouse, but it has a lot of uh, my influence. So I put a lot of Japanese, Mexican flavors. You know. I think, you know, for me, the comfort food is always a nice chop, a nice steak, a ribeye. And um, I wanted to bring some of the elements of my culture. So, you know, we have some ceviche, chicharrones, octopus, things like that on the appetizers. The main courses are quite simple, just great meat, tons of butter. And the location couldn't be better. I don't think there's a single steakhouse here in Whittier. Uh, people have been super happy coming to the restaurant. And then the coolest thing is we have the biggest collection of whiskeys in the city of Whittier. And then in the back, I'm opening a, soon a mezcal, you know, kind of like a speakeasy, not really, because then if it's a speakeasy, you can't really tell anything about it. I'll, I'll give it to you when, whenever we're done, and then I'll show you the decoration and what, what am I doing, so it's pretty cool. Okay, okay, check them out. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make my ceviche. It's, it's a very unique ceviche compared to the traditional Mexican. So first, I'm gonna start with a little bit of a hamachi. Hamachi is a Japanese tuna. Now, this one's been cured in salt, fish sauce, and some fresh lime juice. We let it sit over like 45 minutes, and then we add some lime juice, just to bring out all the flavors. To this, I'm gonna add some uh, tomatoes. Then I'm gonna take some cucumbers, mix it in. Then we go with the avocado. So to my mix, I'm gonna add some uh, red jalapenos. Then this is a unique part. I'm making a combination of uh, fish sauce, lime, habaneros, and buttermilk. It's not very traditional that you will add buttermilk to a ceviche, but that's just the way I do things. Then I have my plate here. Then I'm gonna garnish with more uh, chilies. So I have red chilies, green chilies, and then the habanero. Then to that, some uh, micro cilantro for flavor. Some of the lastarium, just makes it look so, so much nicer. There we go. And then we're gonna serve this with three blue corn organic tostadas. All right, so the next dish I'm gonna do is my braised octopus with ayocotes. Those are Mexican heirloom beans. Quite simple. Our octopus, it's been braised in olive oil for 45 minutes to an hour until it's super tender. Then this octopus goes into my broiler. Then my next step, I'm gonna take some ayocote beans. These are the Mexican beans. We are a little bit of butter. To the same part, I'm gonna take some Mex Mexican cecina. Cecina it's a Mexican version of like a beef jerky. That's gonna go into my pan. I just wanna get it nice and, cr nice and crispy. That's like my salt component on my dish. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic. Not really saute them, I want that hot flavor in the beans. So now for the plating. I'm gonna put some of the beans on the bottom. I take my octopus, set up right there. And I have here my cecina, that it's nice, crispy, and salty. That's my salty component of the dish. I'm gonna add some uh, garlic crema. Then something very unique. I'm putting some uh, micro meat. We're gonna add one chili. Just for extra spice. Finish it with a little bit of lime juice. And that's pretty much the whole dish. So we're making the cotton candy. Uh, that's a blueberry flavored cotton candy. And then the next flavor we actually use a piña colada. So uh, here at the Nixon we have a very special uh, dessert. It's our tres leches cake. It's a tres leches cake, but it's not your traditional like Mexican tres leches. So we do here a, a fruity pebble. Tres leches. Uh, the tres leches, meaning three milks, we're actually using condensed, uh, regular milk, and evaporated milk. 
To these, we're gonna add some um, whipped cream. Then we're gonna go with some berries, just add some freshness. And then the coolest part of the dish is I call it um, unicorn farts. So it's actually uh, cotton candy with a blueberry flavor and a piña colada. And uh, to this, we're gonna add some uh, extra fruity pebbles. That's pretty much the whole recipe. Hello everybody, we're trying some amazing cuisine by uh, Chef Katsuji, right here at the Nixon uh, Chop House and Whiskey. So we're trying this hamachi ceviche. It's a little spicy. Um, Not spicy, it has a good kick to it. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. mom. Thank you, bro. Real good, man. And then, and then the octopus, that was my mom's, um, you know, like special occasion dish. Um, something that I love about it is the beans, the ayocotes. So Honestly, that, Chef, I never tried ayocotes. Exactly, no? You know, I never have. Honestly, it might be my first time yeah. trying, so you'll be popping my cherry. Honestly, that's a good combination. This dish yeah. is fire, Chef. Yeah, thank you. Good. But the beans are good, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, has like you said, very meaty, very like yeah. like steak texture, um, you know, and it has a, like full body to it. You actually have to use your teeth to it, right? No. Yeah. And then this <laughs> stupid funny dessert. No, yeah. Look, you know, people uh, people lately have been saying that they don't like the name of uh, unicorn farts on their food. <laughs> they have the operation oh, like yeah. unicorn farts sound kind of like nasty. I was like, well, have you ever had a unicorn fart? No, you know? Right, yeah. You have it now. Oh. And then for a unicorn part, and like actually having this idea as a chef, what did you picture like when you created this? Like, I know this was out of been nothing that you created on your menu, right? It's something well, different, and you know, it's funny now. Uh, nowadays, everything that you do, people take pictures. Yeah. So let's just embrace that idea behind the picture. So, you know, if you're gonna make a, if you make the picture of food, make sure it's something that looks cool, that yeah. looks. So you know, I'm always trying to like, is it gonna look good on a picture? Is it gonna taste good? So that's the whole idea. Hi. Katsuyi Tanabe at the Nixon Shops and Whiskey and you're watching BBLA.